Hi, you guys. I know that I missed um, Sunday, so I was going to go ahead and read the scripture. We're in 2 Samuel 7 and 4. And it reads, and it came to pass that night that the word of the Lord came unto Nathan saying, go and tell my servant David, thus saith the Lord, shall thou build me a house for him, for me to dwell in. Whereas I have not dwelt in any house since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Egypt, even to this day, but have walked in a tent and in a tabernacle. In all the places wherein I have walked with all the children of Israel, I spake, I I a word with any of the tribes of Israel, whom I commanded to feed my people Israel, saying, Why build ye not me an house of cedar? Now therefore, so shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, from the following the sheep, to be ruler over my people over Israel. And I was with thee whithersoever, Thou wentest and have cut off all thy enemies out of thy sight and have made they a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more, as before time. And as since that the time that I commanded judges to be over my people of Israel and have caused thee to rest from all thy enemies. Also, the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee an house. And when thy days be fulfilled. Excuse me, I think I has read something wrong. I got to go back and read it. Father. I commanded judges to be over my people Israel and have caused thee to rest from all thy enemies. Also, the Lord telleth that thee, he will make thee an house. And when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of their bowels, And I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men. And with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart from him. As I took it from Saul. Whom I put away before thee. Yes. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. That throne shall be established forever. Y'all know Saul was the king before David. And God had to, had to give him the boot. Because he was acting up. Mm -hmm. And then when he's on 13, 14. He's talking about Solomon y'all. That's David's son, him and Bathsheba's son. He had some children already. Y'all know that. He had about nine children already. But God said they're not it. The one that I want and that shall be, who will listen to me, who I will make my son and he will call me father, is not yet born. I hope you enjoyed this and we're going to pray really quick. Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for breath in my body. God, I hope that I am pleasing to you. Not for just the people, but to you, God. I pray that they receive what they're supposed to receive today. And I pray I've given what I was supposed to give. I thank you for all that you do. In Jesus name. Amen.